I'm going to show you how to speed up your Wi-Fi and internet on Windows. So first of all, I'm going to start by running a speed test so we can get a baseline. Then I'm going to change some settings on here and then we'll hopefully be able to get a faster internet speed following that. Now that we've got a baseline, what we're going to do here is change the MTU size of the laptop. So the MTU is the maximum transmission unit and refers to the size of each package getting sent over Wi-Fi or Ethernet to whichever server you're connected to on the internet. Now you can set the MTU individually on each device, but this is also a hard limit set by your ISP or by the VPN that you're using. And if there's a mismatch between the MTU set on your device and on the MTU set on your network, then you can get packet fragmentation. And then that means that packets can get lost and it has to be resent. And so that slows down your internet. So ideally you want the MTU on your device to match whatever is on your network or your router. So to do that, First of all, open a command prompt, so just press the Windows key and then CMD. Then I've got some commands here, so first of all, type in ping space google.com minus f space minus l, and then put in a packet size. So typically, the MTU on devices is set at 1500, so there's a header of 28 bytes, so that means the um, packet size that you can send is 1,472 bytes. So 1,472 plus 28 is 1,500 bytes in total. So first of all, if you just try 1,472 and press return, and then it will ping Google with a packet size of 1,472 bytes plus the header, so 1,500 bytes in total, and it will let you know if any packets have been, have been lost and if any have been received in full. In this case, we've got a 75% loss. So it says here the packet needs to be fragmented. That means that the MTU size on the laptop and on the network is lower than 1500 in total. And so that means if I set my MTU on the laptop to be 1500, then any packet sent over the network are going to get fragmented and that's going to infect, affect the internet speed. So to check what MTU I'm set at, you can use this command, which is also copied into the video's description. And then this shows here, so I'm on Wi-Fi, and you can see the, the bytes in and bytes out, and you can see the MTU here is set at 1500. So that means all of the internet traffic getting sent over my laptop and over Wi-Fi is being fragmented, and that is slowing down the internet on my computer. So what I need to do is to figure out what is the optimal MTU size. So that's one where we get 0% loss. So we just change the uh, packet size of this uh, ping command until we can find a low enough packet size for it to work. So I'll just try 1464. And in this case, we've got a 0% loss. So if we just do it again and 1465, we can just iterate until we find exactly what the, the ideal size is. And 1465 packet size, we've got a 100% loss. So therefore we know that on this network and on, on this laptop, the ideal MTU size is 1464 bytes plus the header of 28 bytes. So that means the ideal packet size is 1482 but we have it currently set for 1500, so that means all the packets are being fragmented. So we need to change the MTU for Wi-Fi to 1482. And you can use this same process for, for network, for, for Ethernet, or for any other networks. So they'll just show the, uh, the interface type here and see whichever interfaces you are using. And then you just use this command, and this command just says to set the MTU size for Wi-Fi in this case, which is the, the name of the interface here, set it to 1482 and store it. Now in this case it says run as administrator to do so, so I'll start up a new one and click run as administrator, paste that in and it just says OK. And that means it's been set successfully. So I can now just run this original command again and you can see the MTU is now set at 1482 for Wi-Fi. So if we rerun the, the speed test, we should see an increase in the Wi-Fi speed. So let's try it.
and you can see that download speed is now approaching 400 megabits a second, upload speed is also nearly 400 megabits a second.